Welcome to part 4 of the hair tutorial. In this video we'll finally finish placing the strands. I'll start by completing the main part in the back before moving on to the braids. You can watch the time lapse or just skip to 12 to anywhere and start going over the process of creating the braids. Enjoy!
Now that all our strands are in place, let's create the base of the braids. This is actually one of the easiest parts of the hair. For this process, I like to start off by using this awesome free brush from Bat King. I've provided a link in the description in case you want to use it yourself. First, create the braids using the same method as the strands. Adjust the curve step and tweak the shape until you're happy. After we've made our base, let's make it interesting. I'm going to show you a little trick to easily add detail and variation to your hair. First, to make things easier, I'll delete one side of the braids. Next, I'm going to split up the three polygroups into different subtools. Now comes the creative part. Using Z Modeler, I crease a few of the edge loops and then turn those creases into curves using stroke, curve functions, frame mesh while only having creased edges turned on. Next, we can use the very same hair tubes brush to place the strand along the curve of the braid. As always, hit B, D, E and click on the curve. Chances are you're not going to get a great result right off the bat, so play around with the brush size and curve step. Finally, you want to try to make the strands merge with the current shape. So go to brush, depth and lower the depth just a little bit. What you'll eventually get is a much nicer and more detailed result, with polygroups that you can easily manipulate to create some fun variation. Now that we're done with the braids, let's move on to the final video in this tutorial series. See you there!